The wait is finally over. The Samsung Galaxy S10 series has been unveiled at San Francisco yesterday and this is my short overview of the event. Thank you for joining in. This is Lankan Tech Dude. Please do enjoy. Starting off with the screen, it's a beautiful 6.1 inch Super AMOLED Quad HD Plus display and its camera module is built into the screen itself with laser cut precision. Away from the gorgeous screen, let's move on to the fingerprint scanner, which is our next highlight. It is an absolute engineering marvel, with it being the first in class ultrasonic fingerprint scanner in any mobile device. Moving on to the software, it is running the all new Android One UI, which is leaps and miles beyond the usual touches or the Samsung experience. And this time around, we've got three rear cameras, one being a normal camera and one a telephoto lens and one a super wide angle lens. Amazing. And now the front camera gets ultra high definition recording as well. And now it has got even HDR 10 plus video recording for amazing captures. And to top it up, it has both optical as well as digital video stabilization. This is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset with 8 gigabytes of RAM and starts off with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. This beast is powered up by a 3400 mAh battery which Samsung claims can cope up with a full day's work. And now for some weird fun stuff or gimmicks. This phone, believe it or not, can act as a wireless charger for other mobile devices including wearables and its connectivity options are amazing with uh, it getting Wi-Fi 6 as well as a separate version of the phone getting 5G and this year Samsung Galaxy S10 comes in three variants plus the 5G version which is the entry level Galaxy S10 E, the regular Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy S10 Plus and these are the three main options that we have at the moment the S10e, the S10 and the S10 Plus and their major differences. They also informed us about their new AKG earbuds with adaptive dual microphones and them getting a separate case which you can charge wirelessly with your phone. In addition to it, they also unveiled the new Galaxy Watch and the Fit, which you can use along with your phone. In the end, they also unveiled the new Galaxy Tab S5e. Uh, talking about the Galaxy Tabs, they have not been as successful as their phone counterparts, but nevertheless, they've given it a chance this time as well. And just before conclusion, they revealed the 5G version of the phone, which has an insane 6.7 inch Super AMOLED screen with an even bigger battery and an even bigger price point. And it has an insane four rear cameras as well. So we'll be looking forward to it in the near future, probably in Q2. This concludes my video on the overview of the Samsung Unpacked event held uh, yesterday at San Francisco. I did not go through the specifics, I just brushed through the major points which were there in the event. And uh, please do subscribe, share and like my videos and uh, I will meet you soon. Have a good day.